Okay, Gatsi 44, Gatsel, G Hatchel. <clears throat> Looks like we've got a French defense. I'll allow the win hour or the classical, whatever black chooses. The win hour is the bishop out here and the classical is the knight to f6. <clears throat> this is something else. Hmm. See, if I take the um, d pawn and he takes my d pawn, I can take back. <clears throat> yeah, I can keep taking here. Or I can let him take or let him push. This is starting to look like a um, Tarash. A Tarash defense to the Queen's Gambit, except I have my knight here. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? If he brings his knight out, I think I will just pin it <clears throat> rather than retreat my queen. Looks a little funny with this. Uh, <laughs> it's Obviously, I set this up with the intention to fianchetto the bishop, but I think I would rather... Well, if he gives me a couple moves to defend, then then it'll be okay to retreat the, bishop, the queen. I mean, <clears throat> if he gives me a couple of moves to develop, yeah. But when he does it here, then I will still pin it. So I just have to be careful of the uh, <clears throat> weaknesses around the light squares here. So now I have to move my queen or take the knight. If I brought my queen over here, I'd be threatening to win a pawn there. He would just bring his bishop out to defend, I guess. Let's just go back. I'm not in such a hurry to trade my bishop for his knight. It would strengthen his isolated pawn here. <clears throat> what I want to do is uh, bring this knight back to e2 and play uh, pawn to c3 so I have a good break, a good stop on this uh, isolated pawn here. <clears throat> so he pushes right away to prevent that, yeah. Makes sense. I was wondering though, if I take his knight and he takes back, then I can grab this pawn. But if I take his knight, he takes my knight. I retreat the bishop. He takes another pawn here, I take back. That doesn't look too bad either. <clears throat> oh, I just took. So he's got the bishop pair and he's got uh, some weaknesses on my king's side. He can play bishop h3, for example, but I got a pawn. And I'm threatening to take on c6 even on fork. Fork is queen and uh, bishop, and that would end his hopes of uh, using the bishop pair for something. Yeah, so he defended that and also put the bishop on a good diagonal here, looking at my weaknesses. Let's put the rook there. Looking at his bishop. <clears throat> okay, he went there. Now I could defend my knight with the bishop, but he's looking to, no, no, he can't put the queen there just yet. Uh, 
I think defending the knight is a reasonable thing to do here. <clears throat> as long as his queen and, you know, he, he probably wants to set up a queen and bishop battery along this diagonal here. Certainly what I would be thinking about. Ah, uh, yeah, so this is kind of a preliminary to that, right? If I take, he could take back with the queen or the pawn. Um, his bishop is loose, however. So if I played knight to um, e6, or even knight takes pawn, knight takes pawn on c6, when he takes back, I take the bishop. If he takes the bishop, I take the queen. He could he can't trade queens until he moves the knight out of the way. So I take a pawn, he takes a knight, I take the queen, he takes back, I take the bishop. And two knights are still hanging. <laughs> I think this works. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, I think he can't take the bishop because I'll just take the queen. So if he takes the knight, I take the bishop. He might try and throw in taking this knight. But then I could still take his queen. Hmm, complicated. Complicated tactics, but the key is that uh, this this is an undefended piece here. Oh, he takes there, hitting my queen. But still, I take his queen. <clears throat> and he takes back with the rook. I'll take with the knight. Don't I win the exchange? He's got a piece hanging here. He's got a fork here. Well, this is interesting. He found a found a clever way out here. After knight takes queen, I do have um, my knight hitting his bishop, and my rook is still hitting his <clears throat> his knight. So if I just take the knight, and then he'll take my knight. So I can't do that. Got to keep taking stuff. Now I can take the knight, and I've got. Uh, yeah, I've got two rooks and a piece, and he's got one rook and two pieces. So I'm up the exchange and a pawn or two. <clears throat> Looks like he can activate his rook. Ah, he couldn't activate it right away. That is true. He had a problem with um, the back rank. So I want to push this pawn forward once. Oh, I can't do that because of the pin. <clears throat> okay, I think I may have to give up another pawn here, but I'm, I'm pawns up, so I shouldn't be uh, so concerned about that. I should be more concerned about his activating his rook. Yeah, this is the thing. Oh, I could take with the knight, and that would still defend the pawn. I could take with the rook. He takes here with check. I think I actually am better off holding on to that pawn. Kind of a ugly looking move here, but um, let me uh, activate my uh, <clears throat> king this way. So you can take the knight, I'll take back, but I'm still defending this pawn. And I'm hitting his bishop. So it looks like I came out of that one okay. I just have to not lose on time, <laughs> like I did. I think that was last last episode. I uh, I lost on time, right? Yeah. Let's give up that pawn in order to uh, activate the rook, uh, knight. Activate that knight. Ah. 
I decide not to take it. So what's good here? I can't step forward with the king. Okay, I'm planning check and then over to skewer these bishops he stops at. And um, let's start. Let's start pushing some pawns forward here. Yeah, that was the purpose of those pawn moves was to get get an, a forward outpost for my knight. Also get in some quick moves. Now the knight could come here. Let's activate the rook. Ah, oh, that's a that's a easy one. <clears throat> Not only activating the rook, but winning a piece. But it was good to activate the rook too. Okay, he's going to play on. I'll. Oh, Go ahead and take that. It's easier to win that way. I'll just win with the extra pawn on the king side here. He can come to this square. Let's stop that. Actually, I can't stop that, can I? His king is coming there. Oh, he wants to go there. Take that pawn. Okay, so it'll take a lot of moves actually for me to uh, I decide I need to hold on to these pawns because it'll take so many moves for me to get my uh, my pawns going. And we'll start them rolling. That's a queen he can't stop. <clears throat> He resigned. Yeah, I was just going to take that pawn if he pushed it. So there was no no way this was going to work out for him. And even in this amount of time, I could uh, I could finish the game. OK, well, that was good. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a rapid game here. Mm -hmm. Let's try D4. Mayo Pataka, pretty evenly matched here. Queen's Gambit. <clears throat> the Orthodox uh, or standard defense, classical defense to the Queen's Gambit. Okay, let's uh, start to think a little bit. Ah, right here is a good time to start to think. So this is the Rogozin variation, I guess. I normally just play e3. Could go with the counter pen. Let's try this. There's an aggressive way for black to play, and I'm not sure what the best response is. But my knight is defending my bishop, so it's not loose there. This pawn is loose. But, uh, well, it looks like I've got it covered now. So let's uh, set things up in this typical formation here. Going to castle next, and then he's going to have to decide if he wants to take that knight or not. He can take this pawn and then play on the move to kick my bishop. That's a 
common way of playing this. I could consider pushing this pawn forward. Yeah, especially since his queen went there. His bishop is trapped now. <clears throat> I don't know if I can win it, but maybe I can force him to trade it off for the knight. So whether this was good or not, we're not sure. If I take here, he can take with the pawn. He can take with the rook, or with the knight, or with the queen. If I put my rook here and he takes, he's just winning a pawn. Is there a way to defend that? I mean, I don't like the idea that I take, he takes with a pawn and then he's got a isolated pawn he can attack over here. He's gotten some kind of better, better structure somehow out of this. Don't really see an alternative there though. Okay, queen up. Queen to b3. Defending here and putting pressure on this guy. Taking the knight. And uh, dreaming of some kind of... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Greek gift sacrifice wouldn't work unless I was able to get a pawn all the way to um, e5, which doesn't look likely in this position. I'm going to try something else. What I'm going to try here is a pawn to f4 and knight back to f3 and then to e5. So this formation will be like a uh, Pillsbury attack. The knight on e5, pawn on f4, and then the rook can come up and over and get some pressure on the king side. Ah, he's pinpointed a weakness here. So I want to um, defend that bishop without um, moving the knight, so I have to defend with the queen. It probably does not matter too much which side I defend on, but I'll defend on this side, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter because my queen ends up at the same spot anyway after he checks, after he exchanges. Okay, so uh, I'm going to play here. Looks like he's trying to get some pressure on this pawn. Oh, he's just uh, piling up over there. Okay, I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> that, I think, is not uh, where the action is. He's winning a pawn here. And, uh, well, if he wins by a pawn at the end, then it will be a misjudgment. But, uh, as I said, I don't think that's where it's at in this game. Now, I do have to be careful with my king here. I have a, a ready-made attack on the f-file. Ah, he's got instant pressure over here. Okay, and my bishop is hanging. Let's keep that open. His queen is shut out. I'm 
going to try and keep the pressure on the f6 square with the bishop knight. And then I want to bounce my queen over to f3. Or somewhere over here. Yeah, so he wants to go there. Queen and uh, knight can take that pawn with an attack on my queen. <clears throat> so I'll be down two pawns. But I wanted to get over here where the action is. Maybe I should have gone to F um, or to G4 and played Bishop F6. That might have been a better, better way to play that. Still, Bishop F6, pawn takes, queen check, king over, and then rook here. Fortunately, I'm getting mated, so I need I need to give my king a little bit of escape over here. Yeah, looks like he is uh, going for that attack on the king. I can't avoid the uh, trade here. And my king has a, a little room to run to now. He gave his king a little room. So I'm expecting queen here check, king to the h2 square. And I want to put my queen here on um, f4. Or g4, rather. Okay, he's looking at these squares. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. And knight, unfortunately, covers f6, but bishop there, knight takes, pawn takes. Can't take back, it's pinned. He pushes it forward, I guess. And I've got uh, some ways of sneaking in like this, tacking the pawn. So he goes over to defend. I can come in like this. Queen f8 to uh, g7 mate. That would be nice. <laughs> Although not uh, especially likely. But maybe I'll pick up some pawns here while he's trying to defend. Or maybe just queen to uh, e7 too. He can can take this pawn and he has trouble he has trouble defending that and queen e7 if he trades queens I get a passed pawn get another queen so I'm expecting a queen move from him he can check first maybe that's what he's thinking about and then bounce the queen somewhere but where does it go where does it go indeed? I think it goes here. To uh, A8. 
to defend against queen f8. Do I have something good against queen a8? Queen a8, I could put my queen here. He could defend the f7 pawn with either the king or the queen. I can take here, get a pawn back. He, I take, he takes, I take. Yeah, he's two pawns up. So if I get one pawn back, then I'll just be one pawn down. Okay, goes for the check first. And goes there. That's weird. Oh, he's hitting the pawn. Oh, I see. I can defend this pawn now. And then when he uh, defends it with his king, yeah, I think he made a mistake. I have a check, then I have a check, and then I have a mate. <laughs> well, that's uh, pulling one out of the fire there. Salvaging a lost position, but you know, active queens and advanced pawns, they're very dangerous. He resigned. Okay, well, that was a nice uh, couple of games. Let's see. Uh, I, you know, let's play, let's play a real quick game just to round this out. Three plus two. <laughs> okay, yes yeah, sir, 2020. See, uh, naming himself after Yasser Sarawan here, let's play a Queen's Gambit, a King's Gambit declined. Not that I know this very well, but I don't know the King's Gambit line so well either. It's probably a good, a good thing to play the king's gambit in these super fast time controls. Okay, I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Let's see. Let's go here. So the king is defending the rook. This queen comes out, but well, my knight will take the queen. <laughs> Let's kick the knight. Ah, his queen goes there. Okay, that's true. Very true. But uh, as soon as this knight goes away, it's not going to be a problem anymore. So let's take the knight. Take the pawn. Let's block. How's the best way to block here? Oh, I see. He's going to get my uh, bishop. That's too bad. <laughs> I was already getting the queen and bishop lined up for an attack there. Let's see, so there's nothing that blocks that also defends the bishop, right? Okay, but the uh, pieces will be even. He'll just be up some pawns. So where's the best square for my king? Well, I should, let's see, if I bring the uh, bishop out, he could take here and that would actually win the rook. So I, I'm better off. I am better off giving him the bishop. <clears throat> want to make sure he can't castle. So two ricks and two pieces, two ricks and two pieces, two queens. I have five pawns. He has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to try and win this in the end game. I could grab a pawn here. 
could attack the bishop here, then he could castle. If I grab a pawn, he plays check, my king goes here, plays check here. Check, check, or takes the bishop. I mean, his rook is hanging. I think we have to take that, and uh, let's get our pieces out. It's opposite colored bishops. He can castle now. <laughs> Does he want to? <clears throat> I want to bring my rook to the center. He wants to attack there. Here, let's uh, harass that. Where is it going? It can go there to attack my bishop or there. Don't mind either of those. Yeah, that's what I thought. He'd go there to trade off a knight and he's going to try and win with his extra pawn. I'm not taking because that would straighten out his weakness there. So let's uh, pile up on that pinned pawn. Then, okay, so I've got a loose bishop here. I'll put the knight here, though. That defends the bishop. Threatens to come in here with check, maybe. Check and take and fork. Check and fork the two, two rooks. Which he ignores. Okay, let's go for that. So if he takes this pawn now, I will get, uh, I'll win a whole rook. So probably should move a rook to attack. Uh, let's take here. Oh, I guess he's going to take with the king. Huh? Okay. That works, I guess. Um, okay, so we will activate my rook here. This uh, bishop is keeping his knight. Uh, maybe I should push the pawn. Maybe I should have pushed the pawn first. Yeah, let's, uh, let's bring my king over here. Keep it in front of his past pawns. <clears throat> then um, let's double up over here. Not quite sure if I want to, but I want to have the option of sacking back the exchange. And uh, let's put the bishop here and there. Now I could pile up on his bishop. goes there. I have a bishop check here. Um, okay, I've got to move quicker. I think I'm going to double my rooks and put them down here. Okay, so now 
I don't have any problem with the king. Let's go over here and attack this pawn. <laughs> it's time, time, time is the problem. Need a couple of instant moves there. <clears throat> Tried to get myself some time. So I've got um, some past pawns here. I probably should have just been pushing. I probably should have just been pushing that pawn all along. Yeah, this is pretty simple now. Could have taken his bishop there, but uh, anyway, got my queen. Let's take this pawn. <laughs> Being kind of silly here. Uh, yeah, okay. So he can't really do anything now, so I can uh, take my time. <laughs> okay, decided. He decided I could uh, somehow manage to win that one. Okay, well, that was a nice series of games. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye now.